Hey guys, I'm Daisho and I am here playing some Magic and today I'm going to be playing a Magic Online Draft and probably most of you know what a draft is by now but basic because I've been posting a lot of videos of it basically uh, you open three packs and you take one card and then you pass it to the left and there are eight other people in there and then you basically end up taking all the cards out of the pack that way so this pack is actually really strong um, there is Vampire Nighthawk, which is, in my opinion, by far the best. Well, not by far the best card, but it's the best card in the pack. Um, there's Garrick's Pack Leader, which is a good card. Very, very strong. Switcheroo is also really good. And then there's Searing Spear, which is one of the best commons. It's definitely the bed rest, best red common. Uh, not the bed rest common. <laughs> um, but Vampire Nighthawk is probably just the strongest card in the pack. Um, it's one of the stronger cards in the set, and perhaps one of the, like one of the one of the top five six uncommons in the set so it's a really really good card it's flying death touch lifelink it needs no no more introduction than that i'm just gonna go ahead and take it um okay so um there's some good cards in this pack there's cower and fear which i like but i don't love uh, there's the Welkin turn Windrake thing, which they pop up a lot together. And there's Centaur Courser, which may be the strongest card in the pack. I did pass a Garrick's Back Leader, but that doesn't necessarily put my neighbor into green. And if I cut green pretty hard, then I could, uh, I could get along with that. There's, I mean, there's Cower and Fear, which stays in color, but me almost everyone likes Cower and Fear more than, more than I do. I'm um, just trying to think, is green black really where I want to be? I mean, Mark of the Vampire and Primal Hunt Beast work really well together, and that's almost a reason to be in green black, because you can usually find both of them since they're both that common. But, I mean, there's also blue, which is really strong, in my opinion, with black. <sighs> but Centaur Courser is just so powerful. Um, I really am thinking of going with the Centaur Courser. It's probably, if I was smart, I would stay with the Cower and Fear, but I think Centaur Courser has a pretty huge upside. Um, compared to that. So now it's just between the Arbor Elf and the Giant Scorpion with a hint of Titanic growth, but I think it's definitely going to be Arbor Elf. Arbor Elf is just, um, I mean, it's first pickable in this format. Now I'm really wishing I had taken that Windrake because I could have just gone Fog Bank. Maybe I still just go Fog Bank and just go the Vampire Nighthawk Fog Bank deck. But, uh, I guess, I guess I'll be stupid and be aggressive and go for the, uh, that thing. Okay, this is pretty good for me. Um, I could go for Mark of the Vampire, but hopefully the other one will table. I think it was in a pretty strong pack. Well, the pack wasn't that strong, but I'll take another. I'll take another one drop. Duty Bandit is really strong. Walking Corpse. Make just making sure I'm not passing anything. There's nothing too amazing in that pack. Okay, well here's a Prey Upon. So that's that makes me happy that I stayed in green. Passing an Elvish Visionary, but that's not a big deal. Um, there's also a Green Ring here, which I want, but. The Prey Upon is way better than either of those, and an extremely late Centaur Courser. Um, the problem is I am passing the Black Ring, which I kind of want, and I'm also passing Liliana Shade, which I want, but Centaur Courser is just a lot stronger. You, you guys are probably thinking, why do I value Centaur Courser so highly, but um, it really is just that good in this format, and um, you, should, you should definitely value it that highly. So, between Titanic Growth and Giant Scorpion is a pretty tough decision. Um... I think I'm going to go with the growth here. This card's so often two for ones people, um, and it, if not, then it's, it's going to be like a good kill spell. So I like it. Um, Unsum is the best card in the pack, but I'm not. It's not in my color, and Mind Rot is a playable in my color, so I'm going to take Mind Rot. Um, I'll take the rats here, and then this is the pack that I wanted to table either the Hunt Beast or the Mark of the Vampire, which would be pretty nice. Or maybe that was the next pack. I can't remember. Um, I wish I had. I don't know. Sometimes when I when I play Magic Online and I really want to win, um, I take notes because um, if you basically just look at the first pack and you count how many cards of each color there are in the pack, then when it comes back around, you can basically get a judge of approximately how how much of each uh, color people are playing and stuff. So it's it's sometimes useful, but I don't know. I mean green black is not is not one of the worst archetypes. The thing that I hate the most is combining red with white. Um or sometimes red with black. Red with black can be really good, but it can also be really bad because there's so many things that just don't work together. Like Mog Flunkies and Exalted do not work together at all. Yeah, here we go. Um I guess this pack was really strong since there's still a Welkin turn left. Fire Elemental's playable and um there's the Mark of the Vampire. I wanted one, and I'll take a sideboard plummet. Probably not. I probably won't run that main. Uh, 
Do I really care that much about crack and hatchling? Which do I care about more? I guess the fire elemental since he'll wall off my three threes, and I'll probably have a lot of three threes. I may I may end up running the bear, but bears are not um, the two two for two. But bears are not really as good um, in in green black as other cards. But yeah, I don't know. This this is looking really solid so far. I'm probably gonna hide this plummet since it's not gonna make the main board. The only double card, double costed card that I have is this Vampire Nighthawk, which is fine. Um, if I can't cast it on turn three, that's okay. <laughs> it's not the end of the world for me. But um, okay, let's look at this pack. Ugh. All right, so um, it's probably going to be Stuffy Doll here because generally, what I what I like to what I would do is I would take a um, a premier playable in my color over a Stuffy Doll. But I don't really see any of that. I have a feeling these timber pack wolves, since I didn't pick up any in the first pack, will just end up being bears. Um, I may have put the person next to me into green, so that's just another reason I may not get that many timber pack wolves. Farsi is a really good card, but it's not like the premier green common that I want to see. Um, Servant of Nephorox, again, very good card. Maybe worth it. Crippling Blight is also a good removal spell. But I think Stuffy Doll just has the most upside of any of these cards. Obviously, Oblivion Ring is the best card in the pack, but I do not, I'm not planning on splashing. Um, as of yet, I have no Evolving Wild, no Farseeks, but... Um, and Stuffy Doll has enough upside that I don't want to just take uh, one of those things. Alright, so this pack is the exact opposite. It has the upside. It ha I mean, it has the Premier Black card that I wanted to see. And it also has the Centaur Corsair and the Zelvish Visionary, which I want both of, but um, we'll probably, I'll probably get neither of them. Um, either way, it's got to be Public Execution. Uh, Alright, so this is somewhat of a tough decision. Sign of Blood, Deadly Re Recluse, and Titanic Growth are the main cards in this pack. Uh, Blood Reckoning and Mind Rot just aren't that good. But I think we're going to take the Deadly Recluse here pretty handily. It's just a really good card. It, it's just, it's people call it the Green Doom Blade because it almost always gets a kill. It either costs a removal, sp it pretty much guarantees either cost a removal spell or uh, block and kill a creature. So it's just, <laughs> it's just a really good card. Um... All right, so this pack is fine. There's there's Bro Beetle, um, everybody's favorite. There's Primal Clay, which is a pretty good card, and then there's Far Seek. I think we're gonna take the Far Seek, even though I don't really have too much on the upper end of the curve right now. Um, if I get some Sentinel Spiders or even Primal Hunt Beasts, then I'll be happy that I took the Far Seek. And here's another Public Execution, and it's just over a Plummet, so I'm definitely gonna take that. So that's nice. Um, nothing here in my colors, correct, I'm green, black, there are no green or black cards. This is the closest thing that uh, there is to a black card. It may be the strongest card in the pack, but I think I'm going to take the turn to slag. Nah. It's either going to, I think it might be either Sunstriker, like now I'm just have, trying to find which card does the best against me. It's probably Sunstriker. Eh. Or Battle Chester, but I'll take the the turn to slag. Maybe, maybe that's wrong. Okay, now we have like an entirely green pack. So um, I could pro I'll probably take this thing because it goes and fetches my Nighthawk. So it's like a second. I mean, it's not a second Nighthawk, but it's just another way to find a Nighthawk, and it's an uncommon. So I'll probably see the other cards more often than that. Um. None of these cards are that good, so I'll take a Kite Cell. I, I don't mind playing Kite Cell. Oh, the uh, Timberback Wolf made it back around. Um, how am I doing? I think I have two public executions of Prey Upon. So I think I want to take the creature as opposed to the spell. Oh my god, Centaur Courser made it back. That's amazing. Probably not going to play this Blood Reckoning. I guess I could have taken Kindled Fury because then that makes their uh, Mog Funkies not trade with my 3-3s. Three but whatever um, mind rot probably won't get played in this deck I already have 20 playables man that's insane um, you never know I might run a distant tomb but um, this deck is looking pretty solid so far not like the absolute greatest but three centaur coursers is pretty sweet um, <laughs> double public execution stuffy doll mark of the vampire I just need to fill out the top end of my curve um, I would like to get at least one Primal Hunt Beast so I could equip it up with a Kite Tail or Mark of the Vampire or something. Um, this is probably going to be Essence Drain. Um, Liliana Shade wouldn't be terrible here either. 
but I don't think I'm going to be running more than eight swamps, so I think I'd rather an essence drain. It's just a slightly better card. Yeah, it's not I'm not playing any of these cards. It's like the, the only green card in the pack was naturalize. <laughs> Um, so there is some good cards in this pack. There are some good cards in this pack. Um, Primal Hunt Beast is the thing that I wanted. There is an Essence Drain, but with Essence Drain, Double Public Execution, and Prey Upon, I don't really think that I want more removal in this deck. I want more creatures, so that's leaning me towards Primal Hunt Beast. There's also a Dust Elworm, and I have a fair bit of um, ramp, plus the fact that I do have... Um, I do have the Beast Tracker, but I think I'm just going to take this to be safe. Hopefully the Dust Elworm will make it back. It's a possibility. It's a fairly strong pack, and green has been um, fairly open. Um, okay, well, I'm going to take Mutilate here. I mean, Mutilate just wins. So I've seen it win so many games. I can't pass it. Like, when I'm in black, I'm not just going to be like, yeah, whatever, I don't need Mutilate. <laughs> Okay, not really much green here. Tormented Soul is fine. I'm not going to take Dark Favor. I'm not playing Crimson Muck Waiter. Um, Tormented Soul is really the only card in this pack that I might ever play. And I'm a little short on creatures, so um, I'll take it. I would take the Titanic Growth normally, but I may just need the bear. And, I mean, still, even 14 creatures is not very many. I would like to have 17 to 8, no, 16 to 17. Although I do have so many good spells in this deck that I won't even be able to play um, that many creatures. Um, I'll take a Liliana Shade. Yeah, it's a really good card. I would like the Sign in Blood, but um, that's fine too. Alright, none of these cards are going to be played, so I'll just take the best one being Fairy Invaders. I mean, they're all going to be played, just not in my deck. <laughs> and, I mean, I have more than, like, there's no way I'm running Mind Rod in this deck. Probably won't even be able to run this Kite Sail. And it's not looking like a Far Seek deck to me. Maybe it is. I mean, I have Mutilate, which wants Far Seek. Ravenous Rats probably won't make the cut. I mean, I think they're a lot better with, um, with multiple, in multiples, and with multiple, um, of the other thing. Ooh. Servant of Nephrox. There's some good cards in I mean some cards that I would like to pick up in this pack. I would like to pick up a duress for the sideboard, but I'd rather take a really strong exalted creature. Excuse me. Um Veilborn Ghoul is also fine, so I would probably take him, but I don't need to. None of these cards are gonna make anyone's deck except maybe this downpour. <laughs> We'll make a bad deck, and there we go. So it looks like Farseek is going to make the deck because I ended up tabling the Dust Elworm like I had hoped, which is kind of awesome. I doubt I'm going to play the Zombie Goliath. I'll take a Rummaging Goblin. Um, I'm not going to play the Dark Favor, so I'll take this Wild Guess. I guess I could have taken the Smelt. Well, it doesn't really hurt me at all. Um, so I picked up a second Mind Rot. But I still don't think that makes it worth playing the Mind Rots and the uh, and the Ravenous Rats when I have so many better options. I probably won't end up taking all three of my bears. I was right that I was only going to get the one Timber Pack Wolf, and it was I, like I only saw one the entire draft. Um, it's the one that tabled, so um, I figured, oh, whatever. If it tabled, then may I didn't end up talking about it. But what I was thinking in my head is, oh well, it actually tabled. I might um, I might end up playing it, but. Uh, or because I might end up getting like if there were three of them opened in the in pack three, then I would end up getting four of them. So that would be kind of sweet. So I didn't end up getting either of the rings, which is not ideal. I would like to have a ring in my green black deck. So, but I have a lot of good cards in here. Um, I kind of want to run the kite sail, but I may not be able to. Farseek is definitely going in there, but I do have three centaur coursers. Yeah, I want to run the kite sail. Um, there's just so many good cards in here. Probably not running Tormented Soul. Um, he does very little with my deck. We'll, we'll put these things in for now. Um, I have a Blood Reckoning? Why do I have a Blood Reckoning? <laughs> Mutilate is probably not where I want to be most of the time, but I need to run it. Okay, so I need to make two cuts from this deck. Um, I have 16 creatures, so cutting a Walking Corpse is fine. Um, well, let's actually sort by color and see which one I want to cut. Um... 
So I probably want to cut the timber pack wolf instead. Um, so kite sail is looking like really like the odd man out here. Um, maybe I don't I don't want to cut duty bound dead. It, like it looks like I have to cut a non creature spell. Um, and there's no way I'm cutting like titanic growth or something like that. Um, I want mutilate in here, and like the rest is just removal. So. I can't cut Farseek for sure, because I have these public executions as Dust Alworm, which I want to be able to cast. Um, no, Mark of the Vampire is also a non-creature. Um, Kitesail looks like it'll be a really good card in my deck, though. Like, I have this Hunt Beast, these three Centaur Coursers, even this Liliana Shade. Like, a Kitesail could easily just win me the game. I don't want to cut a public execution. I don't want to cut Marco Vampire like that. <laughs> uh, this is one of those decks where it's just like, can I run 41? But um, no, I'm never going to run 41 cards. I can't really cut a creature since then that'll take me below 15. Um, yeah, I wanted to cut the Timber Pack Wolf because then it allows me to play more Swamps from Mutilate. So that's fine. I wonder why they decided to make Mutilate 2 black black. Who's going to cast this for 3 and a black when they only have one swamp out anyway? <laughs> um, well, like, I don't even know what the worst card in terms of power level is in this deck. I guess it's a walking corpse. But I don't really want to go down to 14 creatures. And then I only have... Huh, yeah, why not? 14 creatures isn't ideal, but I have a Dust Ale Worm, I have this Stuffy Doll, I have three Centaur Quarters. Like, I have ways to win um, Nighthawk. I have a lot of ways to win that I don't really need it. So, um, let's now go Piles by Color. And it looks like it's going to be 9-8 um, in terms of black. Let's see what they suggest. Yeah. 9 in terms of black seems right. Um, I have one less black card, but I have uh, more bl double black symbols. I have three double black symbols where I really only have one double green. By the time I get to Dust Elm, I'm really able to cast it. Plus with Arbor Elf, I already, I mean, I'll definitely be able to. I don't want to go to 10-7, though, because then I might not have my green early on. So um, that's going to be the deck I'm going to submit here in just a second. And I hope you guys enjoyed the draft part, and we'll get to the games in a moment. So, uh, yeah, I'll see you then. Bye.